Now we'll take a look at some inverse normal curve application problems. So these are similar to the last problems we looked at, except in these problems we have a mean and standard deviation that are not zero and are not one. So in this example, let's suppose grades on an anthropology exam are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 70 and standard deviation of 9.5. Here we're being asked, between what two grades would you expect to find the middle 75.4% of grades? So the first thing we would do in solving this type of problem is draw a picture. And notice we've been given a percent. So we've been given the middle 75.4%. So that means we have a positive value and we also have a negative value or one above the mean, one below the mean. So that means 70. And we've been given a middle piece like this. So this whole middle is 0.754. So now we would have to decide if you want to solve this using the tables or if you want to solve this using your calculator. I'll talk about how to solve it using the tables first. So if we wanted to solve this using the tables, we can't look up 0.754 on the Z table. Z table does not go as large as 0.754 in terms of area. So we would need to find the piece of area between the mean and between either positive or negative Z score. So we could find this piece. And this piece over here is 0.754 divided by 2, which is equal to 0.377. So what we would do now is look for, as an area on the z-table, okay, so we would look for 0.377 as an area on the z-table or the closest value to it. It turns out 0.377 is on the z-table and it corresponds to z is equal to 1.16, but remember this is a middle piece of area, so we also have z is equal to negative 1.16. However, we're not finished here, because what they said is between what two grades would you expect to find the middle 75.4% of grades? So they weren't asking us to find z scores, they were asking us to find specific grades, so that's what this x and this negative x are. So in order to figure out what those specific grades are, we need to use our z-score formula, which is z is equal to x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So we'll do it for the first z-score. We have 1.16 is equal to x, the grade we don't know, minus the mean, which is 70, divided by standard deviation, which was 9.5. We would do algebra, solve for x. We end up getting x is equal to 81.02. We do it for the other one. Negative 1.16 is equal to x minus 70, the mean, divided by 9.5, the standard deviation. We do algebra here. We end up getting x is equal to 58.98. So those are our two exam scores. Now, if we wanted to solve this using the calculator, We know we need to use inverse normal because here we've been given an area and we want to find exam grades. We need to know what the area is to the left of the grade or z-score that they want us to find. So if we know that this piece over here that's more heavily shaded in is equal to 0.377 and everything below the mean is 0.5, the area to the left of the higher grade is going to be 0.377 plus 0.5. And then we would input our mean, which is 70, our standard deviation, which is 9.5. We put this in, we hit enter, and we end up getting 81.02, which matches what we got over here for our higher grade. So if you're using the calculator and you know how to use it, you can bypass using the z-score formula to convert your z-scores into numbers relevant to the situation of the problem. So that's one. Or we also have to do it again for the lower grade. So for our lower grade, we need to know what this piece of area is over here. Now, we also know this piece between the lower grade and the mean is 0.377. So this piece in here is going to be 0.5 minus 0.377. So what we would put in the calculator here for the area to the left, 0.5 minus 0.377, mean of 70, standard deviation of 9.5, and we end up getting 58.978, which rounds up to 58.98, again, which matches what we had before for our lower score. 
part B is asking what grade is higher than 97.13% of all grades, or what grade is associated with the lower 97.13% of data? These are two ways that you could word the same question. So first we'll draw a picture of what's going on. So we want to know what grade is higher than 97.13%. So this grade is higher than more than half of the grades, so that means whatever grade we have, it's going to correspond to a positive z-score, and it's higher than everything else, so this is the shaded area we have. If they also say what grade is associated with like this lower percent, this is the lower percent because it includes the lower half of the curve. So this whole thing is 0.9713. Now this is the score we want to find. So if we wanted to find this using the calculator, that's very simple to do. This is just inverse normal. We already have the area to the left. It's 0.9713. We know our mean is 70. Standard deviation was 9.5. And we end up getting 88.05. Now let's say we wanted to solve this using the tables. To solve this using the tables, we need to know what a section of area like this is because this is the type of area they give us on the table, the area between the mean and some z-score. So if this whole thing here is equal to 0.9713, we know this half is 0.5. This piece in here is going to be 0.9713 minus 0.5, which gives us 0.4713. So now this is what we will look up on the z-table. Or you want to look for the closest thing to this if you can't find this value exactly on the z-table as an area. And it is on the z-table and it corresponds to z is equal to 1.9. And now we know this is z is equal to positive 1.9 based on the way we drew our picture because we're dealing with a lower percent of data or a grade that is higher than more than half of the data or more than half of the grades. Now what we need to do is take this z is equal to 1.9 and convert it into an exam score. We want to end up getting you know, 88.05 or something very close to that. So we're going to use our z-score formula. So here we have z, 1.9 is equal to x minus the mean of 70 divided by standard deviation 9.5. We do algebra and solve for this, we end up getting x is equal to 88.05. Part C, what grade is higher than 34.46% of all grades? Which could also be asked, what grade is associated with the lower 34.46% of grades? So we'll start off by drawing this picture. So we want to know what grade is higher than less than half of the grades, because this is less than 50%. Or we're being asked about a lower 34%, this is less than 50% again, that means we're dealing with a piece of area like this, a lower tail end. So whatever value we have here, it's going to correspond to a negative z-score if you're using the tables. So because they already gave us the area to the left, this is definitely easier to solve using the calculator. So this is just inverse normal, our area to the left our mean, our standard deviation, and we end up getting 66.20 as our answer. And it makes sense because this value is lower than the mean, and we wanted a value below the mean. Now let's take a look at how to solve this using the tables. So we know what this shaded piece is over here, but we can't look this up on the tables. Well, we can, but it would give us the wrong answer we need to know what this unshaded area between the mean and the unknown score is. So this piece in here is going to be equal to 0.5 minus 0.3446, and that's equal to 0.1554. So we want to look up an area of 0.1554 on the z-table, or the closest thing to it that we can possibly find. So if we look for this on the z-table, it is there, and it corresponds to z is equal to 0 0.4. However, we need to make sure to make this a negative 0 0.4, because if we look at the way our picture is drawn, this is below the mean, so we have to have a negative z-score here. If we use the positive z-score, when we convert it back to a grade, we're going to end up getting the value that would fall you know, somewhere over here, and it's not going to 
you know, matched what we have over here. So now that we have this, we can use the z-score formula to figure out what exam score corresponds to. So we have negative 0.4 is equal to x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. We do algebra to solve for this, and we end up getting x is equal to 66.2, which matches what we got using the calculator. Okay, part D, what grade is lower than 84.45% of grades, or what grade is associated with the upper 84.45% of grades? So draw a picture of what's going on here. So we have our mean directly in the middle, and we want a grade that is lower than more than half of the grades. So our upper half is over here, this is our upper 50%, and we're lower than more than that. So our mystery grade is going to fall here below the mean, and this is the piece of area that they're giving us. So this whole thing here is 0.8445. So if we wanted to solve this using the tables, we would need to find this piece of area here. And we know this bigger piece here is 0.5, so this piece of area is going to be 0.8445 minus 0.5. And that gives us 0.3485. So we want to look that up on the table. So if we look this value up on the z table, it corresponds to z is equal to 1.03. But again, if we look at the way we've drawn our picture, we need to know this should be a negative 1.03, not a positive one. Then we would use our z-score formula to figure out what grade it corresponds to. So we have negative 1.03 equals x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Solve for that algebraically, we end up getting x is equal to 60.215 or 60.3. And again, this makes sense because 60.3 falls below the mean of 70. Now let's say we wanted to solve this using the calculator. For the calculator, we need to know what this unshaded area is over here because this is the area to the left of the unknown value. So in order to find this area to the left over here, that's just going to be 1 minus 0.8445. So in the calculator, we could do inverse normal. We could even just do 1 minus 0.8445. It'll work. Our mean is 70. Standard deviation is 9.5 hit enter, and we end up getting 60.3753, which rounds to 60.4, but it's still very close to what we got before. It's close enough. Okay, here's one more example. What grade is lower than 19.49% of all grades, or what grade is associated with the upper 19.49% of grades? First, we'll draw a picture. So what grade is lower than less than half of the grades? So remember, our upper 50% is over here, and if we're lower than less than that upper 50%, they're giving us an upper tail end like this. So this piece is 0.1949. Also, if they had said the upper 19.49%, it would be an upper tail piece like this. So now, if we wanted to solve this using the calculator, we need to know what the area to the left is. So the area to the left is going to be 1 minus this shaded piece here. Mean is 70. Standard deviation is 9.5. We end up getting 78.1698 or 78.17. Now let's say we wanted to solve this using the tables. If we wanted to solve this using the tables, we would have to figure out what this piece of area is because we need a piece of area like this to look up on the tables. So in order to get that, we know this whole half of the curve is 0.5, so we can do 0.5 minus 0.1949, and that's equal to 0.3051. So we would look this up on the table, and obviously you're looking it up as an area. When we find 0.3051, 051 on the z table, it corresponds to z is equal to 0 0.86. And we know we can leave this as a positive 0 0.86 because of the way we drew our picture. This value should fall above the mean, so the z score should be positive. 
Now that we have a z-score, we can convert it into an exam grade using the z-score formula. So we have 0 0.86 is equal to x minus our mean of 70 divided by standard deviation 9.5. We solve this algebraically and we end up getting x is equal to 78.17, which matches what we got before.